maybe if that has dry all the time <laughs> maybe it's because you're not drinking enough water as well very boring with my hair not really doing anything exciting hey guys it's your girl Vanessa here welcome back to another video if you're returning thank you so much for your support and if you're new i'm Vanessa. i make natural hair videos including lots of diys to help us grow strong healthy natural hair so if this kind of content interests you be sure to click the subscribe button and join the family in today's video i'm going to tell you basically how i grew my hair to waist length now the reason why i'm making today's video is because i get a lot of questions in my comment sections you know things along the lines of how long have you been natural is it these diys that are growing your hair uh have you got pictures of what your hair used to look like before like tons and tons of questions like this and i really appreciate you guys i really appreciate you sending these questions out and yeah just you know i appreciate you commenting on my videos in general so thank you so much if you left me a comment sometimes it's really difficult to for me to actually pour everything that i want to pour out on the comment section of a video just because of the fact that there's only, there's only so much that you can write in one at one particular time so that's how i just thought it would be maybe interesting to just make a video just to tell you sort of going to a bit more detail about how i grew my hair so if you're interested definitely make sure you keep on watching and watch till the end of the video guys So let's hop right into the video. Now a quick disclaimer, one thing that I would say is that the things that I'm going to share are basically from my experience. These are the things that I did and the things that I found helped me and also helped my hair. Everybody's hair is different, our hair grows at different rates and yeah so basically and reacts to products differently as well. Um, so just bear that in mind and also know that everybody's hair grows every single day just like when you shave your legs or you shave your armpit or you know places where you've got hair and then before you know it is grown back okay just like that hair grows on your head as well now we grow about half an inch every single month it's really tiny like this so you can imagine to be able to see this kind of length, it will take a little bit of time for you to get to that stage, okay? So be patient. Be patient in your hair journey uh, and also do everything that you can to retain that hair that's growing on your head. Now, some people think their hair isn't growing because every time it grows, it breaks, it grows, it falls out, and essentially they have the impression that their hair just doesn't grow. But in reality, our hair grows every single day it's just about retaining that hair on our scalp that will actually um, give us length over time now our hair doesn't grow overnight like i said you're not going to get long hair overnight just because of the fact that that's just you know it's just unrealistic so you just have to be patient now you might be watching this video thinking okay you're talking about how you grew your hair to waist length we can't see your hair you've got braids on yes guys i've got braids i usually have my hair out most of the time but this time around i just decided to do braids just because i wanted to protect my hair and also i just wanted a little break you know i want a little break from just like being in my hair constantly and uh, and that's what i thought i'm just gonna put them in this braid i'm gonna see if i can find pictures of what my hair looks like and i put it somewhere here or if you're new you can just go through my channel and basically see what my hair looks like okay Now the first thing that you need to do guys is retain moisture. Now moisture is everything, especially if you're trying to retain length. Now the reason why I say that is because dry hair is more prone to breakage, that's it. Like it's just as simple as that. If your hair is, is dry all the time, it is going to break. You know, every time you comb it, you're going to see so much hair on the floor. Um, so 
yeah you just need to make sure that your hair is moisturized as much as you can have a routine in place every time that you feel your hair is dry you know it's time to give it moisture there's so many things that you can't do there are amazing leave-in conditioners that i've got on my channel that you can try out if you like to diy but if you're not into diys that's absolutely fine you can get you know leave-in conditioners from the store as well and just use that moisture moisture is everything when you are trying to retain length okay that's the first thing now the second thing now this is actually in no particular order i'm just gonna just give you guys the tips as we go along okay. the other thing the second thing is basically exercise like exercising is great not only for our general health but also for our hair now when you exercise you're increasing the blood flow to your scalp now more blood flow just means more nutrients in that area and that's how you're able to provide your follicles with all of the nutrients that it needs for you to be able to um to grow healthy hair now i remember at the stage that my hair actually picked up because i didn't have long hair like this before my hair used to be like really thin um and not really like too too short but it was short it, it, it was thin pretty much i'll see if i can find some pictures for you guys so you can see what it used to look like um so and i remember at the time i wasn't really into like working out or anything like that um because it just wasn't my thing okay so when i started working i remember when i left uni that's when my head grew like so long um because i was actually working full time and i had a gym right next next door to me so i would finish work and just hop right in the gym and i used to do this every single day not like you know like every day that i was working so five days a week i would be going to the gym and yeah it just became like a normal routine and before i knew it i just noticed my hair was getting thicker my hair was getting longer um so yeah exercising is great guys like you need to exercise and even now i do exercise but it's not for the purpose of getting long hair because in all honesty at this point in time i'm not too fussed about length anymore i just want to have my hair nice and healthy and also grow those areas of my hair that are just thin like my edges um through childbirth i've lost lost my edges i had two children almost back to back guys so that's postnatal shedding twice um so yeah i'm still trying to regrow my edges so that's the only part of my hair that i really paid a lot of attention to when it comes to my hair in general but for the rest of it i'm more about you know keeping it healthy and strong and retaining that length that i already have um but if i get growth as a result as well which i believe that it will happen because if you just look after your hair in general it will grow like you will be able to retain that length because like i said your hair grows every single day if that makes sense now the third thing is basically what you eat now alongside exercising you need to incorporate you know a good diet now i'm not necessarily the best person to be preaching on healthy eating and all of that because in all honesty your girl loves her food okay I love my food and sometimes it doesn't always happen to be the healthiest of the things to be honest um, but I love I love eating so yeah when it comes to our hair you need to eat nutritious foods so foods that are high in protein because our hair is basically made of a, of a protein called keratin so if you have enough protein in your diet you're just making your hair stronger and the stronger it is the less likely it is to break so make sure that your diet is high enough in protein now the other thing as well is vitamins so you have the right amount of vitamin antioxidants and all of that your green leafy vegetables will come in very handy don't neglect them um and yeah your, your protein basically everything that i said earlier we're not going to go too much into details about the type of food but you know there are lots of healthy food options out there that are very nutritious to you and also nutritious for your hair um so i think i made a video in the past about five superfoods so i'll link it somewhere up here for you guys um so yeah your food is everything now the other thing as well is uh water so make sure you stay hydrated okay drink enough water during the day as much as you can i usually aim to drink about two uh two liters of water 
every single day sometimes i go beyond that sometimes you know i go a little bit under but i try to drink two liters as a minimum now water just keeps you hydrated and it also hydrates your hair um so maybe if that has dry all the time maybe it's because you're not drinking enough water as well so be sure to actually stay as hydrated as you possibly can because it's not only good for your general health but it's also good for your hair especially if you're trying to retain length now the other thing is just having a routine one thing that i found worked for me a lot in the in previous years is just that you know i had a routine in place so i had times when i was you know washing my hair moisturizing deep conditioning doing all this treatment like basically just have a routine in place now everyone's routine cannot be the same because our lifestyle are not the same so find something that works for you if it's deep conditioning once a week that works definitely do that if it's once a month definitely do that so find something that works but certainly have a routine in place i'm really sorry guys it's my neighbor's dog um yeah so have a routine in place something that works and just stick to it pretty much now the other thing is protective styling i don't do as much now because you know like i have to make content for you guys i'm just being completely honest uh and i just feel like if i'm showing you how to make a deep conditioning mask or something i have to show you how i'm applying it to my hair so it just means that <laughs> having hair like this is not really gonna work uh, which means that i always have to have my hair out but before i started making youtube videos on natural hair guys you would barely what i mean like barely you would barely see my hair like that like you probably see it like in a bun you barely see my ends that my ends were always tucked in i would wash my hair condition seal do all of that and then i'll put it back in the bun i was the bun girl pretty much very boring with my hair not really doing anything exciting with it but trust me that's what actually grew my hair because i would just do that and leave it for like two weeks and not do anything to it i'll wear the same hairstyle for like the longest time i'm not saying you should do that because you know you don't want to be as boring as i was uh so maybe experiment a bit more with your hair but if you are to do different types of styles maybe find styles that are less that would require less manipulation so that you're not constantly in it but for me yeah it was protective styling all the way i used to do twists i didn't stop doing i don't know why i stopped doing them i used to do the small two strand twists and just leave them in my hair for like a month you know uh, i used to do you know like i said buns and just have my ends tucked away i also used to wear weaves not weaves like yeah weaves back in the days like you know ages ages ago but when i started embracing my hair i stopped wearing weaves and i was more doing you know protect style with my actual hair now protective style is actually great because it just gives you a break just like me now oh, i'm really enjoying this guys i am enjoying this hairstyle because I don't have to think about my hair you know all i just have to do is moisturize it <laughs> and then that's it and then we're done if somebody calls me and be like oh there's an emergency here there's no emergency because we're all in lockdown but anyways <laughs> i'm just trying to say like when you have protect style on it's so much easier you can just get up and go like get up and fly if you want to but when your hair is out all the time you always have to think about it you know every time you have to go somewhere everything oh gosh i now have to go and do something to it so i don't look like someone's granny or something do you get what i mean so protective styling is just amazing because it gives you a break but also it allows your hair to grow and without you like tempering with it all the time so protect your hair guys don't don't be like me i do it just because i have to put content content out there for you guys but if i wasn't doing this it will be protective style most of the time okay now obviously there are times when you leave your hair out in the summer days you do a nice twist out you know you rock you rock your hair and things like that i'm not talking about those times like in the winter months especially when it's really cold and you know drying for our hair that's when you want to protect the style the most so yeah protect style protect style protect the style is the thing okay now don't forget also when your hair is in protective styling it doesn't just stop there you also need to look after your scalp when your hair is protected okay so still give it more shower do all those treatments and things like that now the other thing as well that i would say is find products that work for you okay products are very very important because 
you know you need to know the ingredients that you have in your conditioner or your shampoo or i don't know like anything that you're using for your hair and what it can possibly do for your hair what benefits it's got so know your products i'm not saying you have to diy just like i'm doing you can actually get you know short bought products that are also very amazing but just check the ingredients and basically just go with products that work i diy for a very long time and i'm and i still do and i've definitely reaped the benefits from you know just using natural ingredients in my hair and it has certainly grown over time i've seen length my hair is looking shinier healthier um so yeah i'm just i'm just really happy i'm just at a happy place with my hair right now but you don't necessarily have to diy like i said try other things as well as long as the work stick to them okay if it's not broken do not fix it so essentially stick to what works okay so that's um my other thing now the final tip that i'm going to leave you guys actually not the final the one before the final tip is no heat now i know heat's very controversial okay some people would say my hair grows better when it's stretch um when they use heat to stretch it i don't know i'm speaking from my personal experience i can't remember the last time i used heat on my hair i think it was probably on my wedding day which was like two which was about four years ago okay that was the only time the only time that i use heat on my hair like it's been that long and before that i never used to have heat on my hair like even to dry my hair i would just let it air dry naturally um so stay away from heat like heat will damage your hair um especially if you do like if you do it all the time and if you're using like high heat you know it will denature the protein in your hair the keratin protein and the consequences of that will be definitely breakage so if you're trying to grow long healthy hair stay away from heat or if you are going to use any type of heat leave you use a heat protector and don't use don't do it like all the time you know do it very very sparingly like for me like i said i barely use heat like the last time was four years ago actually no i lied i'm sorry guys i lied <laughs> oh my god no the last time that i used heat on my hair was maybe when i gave birth to my daughter so okay before that time it was four years ago when i got married okay and then i used heat when i gave birth to her which was about she's now 10 months so it was about maybe like six months ago when i gave birth to her and i wanted to try this um what's it called this this heat heat comb i don't know if that's what you call it like you know that stretching brush brush that you just brush your hair with it and then your hair goes kind of straight it just gave me like a blow dry look to be honest nothing fancy yeah that was the only time since then that i use heat on my hair i haven't used heat ever since and i'm not planning to use heat on my hair again um for another while now the other thing as well guys is consistency okay you're not going to see any type of results if you're doing something once so in all of these things like having this routine in place moisturizing conditioning all of that all of that all of that you need to be consistent with it that's why i said if you have a routine it will help you retain consistency consistency is key if you're trying to see results so do the same thing over and over again and you will certainly see that over time you've been able to retain length okay and the final thing is basically just be patient be patient like i said our hair grows about half an inch every single month that's really tiny it is really tiny if that so just be patient you're not going to get long hair overnight like this is not going to happen i know i make videos and sometimes i put on my titles you know grow long hair fast or you know get thicker hair fast and things like that i'm going to be completely honest guys this is youtube this is just youtube for you if i don't put those titles you're not going to click on the video like maybe you may actually click but somebody else may not click on the video when it gets recommended to them because the title is not that catchy do you get what i mean so youtube just forces youtubers to use clickbait words in a way um because that's just how it is to be honest i don't even know if it's youtube i think it's just it's just natural 
uh, human instinct people are more likely to click on something that's very unrealistic or something that is very out of the norm do you get what i mean like for example if you make a video and say how to make a million pounds in 30 minutes of course people are going to click on that video right because everybody would want to be a millionaire but is it really realistic i mean it can happen but what are the chances of a regular person making a million pounds in 30 minutes do you get what i mean so that's basically why we're using those titles it doesn't mean that the titles are wrong because what we say i mean what i say in my videos i give you guys facts okay i give you facts if you go check it you certainly see that those are facts i give you factual information and also these are the things that i've tried on my hair over time and i've noticed growth so essentially don't focus so much on my titles but rather focus on the content because the title is just there at least to get you guys to, to click so you can get you know the the, the good information that i'm going to put your way and also um the diy that i'm bringing to you the titles might be a little bit over exaggerated but like i said that's youtube it's not like that all the time but sometimes yes i use those titles just to get me the clicks okay and every other youtuber does that so if you check other people's channels you'll see exactly the same thing someone will say grow your hair in two weeks what can you actually grow your hair in two weeks like long hair in two weeks i don't know so <laughs> yeah i don't know guys so basically the whole point of this is you know be patient okay be patient your hair will grow over time if you do if you're consistent with what you're doing and you're patient enough you will see results so just hang in there keep doing your thing and then you'd be surprised one day when you get up and you comb your hair you're like oh my gosh where is this hair coming from like this is length do you get what i mean so be patient um so this is it for me guys i think i've rambled so long i think this video is probably over 20 minutes now i'll see if i can edit it and cut it shorter if not i'm just gonna put it out like this guys so yeah this is it for me today thank you so much for watching if you watched the video i enjoyed it don't forget to hit that thumbs up button it's very important guys some of you guys watch and you don't like like the video okay like the damn video um <laughs> i don't even know why i'm talking like this today i don't know i'm just so excited i'm so excited but anyways yeah like the video guys if you liked it share it with your friend your family anyone that you believe can benefit from this content and also subscribe to the channel if you're not already and i'll catch you in my next video which will be very very soon so thank you so much for watching bye